Yo, what up, man? It's your boy Chris. I'm about to be checking in, man. Born Legacy 4. I don't know, man. We got a tentative date, man, of January 29th. You know what I'm saying? These dates are always subject to change. But January 29th, it looked like it's going to be the date. That's a week after the UW event, man. I think URL finally got a venue, so hopefully they can lock it in. It ain't announced by URL, so don't go by my word. It's just what I'm hearing behind the scenes. But January 29th, looks like it might be the date, man. We can finally get this Born Legacy series popping. The only good thing about it being delayed is they were able to add Chef Trez and Mike P. I mean, at least we got another pretty dope battle on the card just due to the fact that it just kept being pushed back further and further and further. But I know these battle rappers ready to get their rounds off. They're ready to get their rounds off, other half of their deposits, and just move on to the next battle at the end of the day. This battle was supposed to go on in October, then November, then December, and now damn near the end of, end of January. So let's just talk about it, man. Jazz versus e -Hart. Really excited about this battle. Good to see Jazz back and see what she's bringing to the table after the official battle. This is a She's under the most pressure of anybody on this Born Legacy card. In my opinion, like she really needs to win this battle. You think about it, she battle official. I thought, well, Jazz need to get back in the ring. You know, she took a loss or whatever. It's good for her to just get her mojo back, get back. She ain't listening to none of us. She still sat out her year and a half and didn't battle. So now it's kind of like, okay, if you didn't battle, if you lose to official and you don't battle for a year and a half, and then you lose to E Heart and you don't battle for a year and a half, then it's like you took two battles and two L's. And didn't battle in, you know, only two battles in three years. You almost become a little bit irrelevant in this whole battle rap female ranking. Some people already feel like she overrated. I think Jazz is dope. But I can't be mad at niggas, you know, calling her out on just not battling enough. And two L's in three years kind of starts to make you a little bit irrelevant as far as female battle rap. So I feel like she definitely need to win this battle. Her official battle was good, but... Niggas are putting in a lot of work like Bonnie and Official right now. So, it's the, you know, people are trying to get in that notoriety that Jazz used to get. I think she definitely needs to win. I think she's going to beat E. Hart, who did very well versus 40 bars. But I still think that Jazz, the rapper, will do enough to win this battle. She definitely needs to win this battle. I got her winning 2-1. Mr. Wavy versus Bill Collector. Wavy got to win this battle, dog. No ill. I mean, he lost to John John. Let's keep it real. So, he lost to John John. He uh, pretty much didn't battle clean paper. He didn't battle Young Ill. So it's almost like this nigga just got to be sitting on a lot of fucking bars in the game battling. I don't know when the last time. When was the John John battle? Like over a year and a half or something? Like I don't even really know when the last time this nigga battled. But it seemed like it's been a while since he battled. And it's like Bill Collector, he's been taking a lot of battles. It's good to see him back on URL. But bar wise, Mr. Wavy just got it's a much better rapper in my opinion than Bill Collector. Bill Collector's a better performer. Plus he got good uh no, he got good bars too, but Mr. Wavy should be able to win this battle, man. If he don't, he pretty much should be done on URL. I'm a, I'm calling it now. Mr. Wavy can't be Bill Collector on URL after losing to John John and all the little issues. He, I don't even really know why he would be still on the roster. I'm just keeping it real. So, Mr. Wavy got to win this battle. Bill Collector's good to see you back, but I got Mr. Wavy winning. Steams versus Danny Myers. I got Danny Myers clearly winning this battle. There's no disrespect to Steams. He's a cool nigga at the end of the day. I just think Danny Myers is a better rapper. And coming off the Rex battle, Danny Meyer definitely can't lose his steams and definitely needs to kind of, you know what I'm saying? He needs to establish himself on the East Coast on a URL stage. You know, people looking at him at the Rex battle and it's like, hey, yeah, you beat Rex, but it wasn't a crazy performance. So people are wondering if his style fits the URL stage. He needs to show up against steams. I think this would be a bar fest, kind of like Danny, uh, kind of like steams and Rum Nitty. I think steams would do well. Kind of like a little grudge match. You think has been talking a lot of shit, but Danny Myers has been proven to be the better battle rapper over time. His resume is very nice. He should win this battle. Clearly got him winning 2-1. New Jersey Twerk versus Glue Easy. Glue Easy just had a nice battle versus uh, Badafi Green. I thought that was a pretty good battle. I got him winning that battle. Twerk, I actually kind of like his style. It's kind of different. You know what I'm saying? He's a little unorthodox. Still, you know, got bars as well as performance. Um, Gluezy kind of takes a little long to get to the punch a little bit, kind of has a slow build up. I just see Twerk turning up on him. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I think Twerk going to win this battle and win this battle clearly 2-1. Uh, I do like Gluezy, but I just don't like the matchup. I got Twerk winning. Moneybags versus Prez Mafia. Moneybags, I mean, Prez Mafia impressed me in his last battle versus None None. Definitely was good to see him back on his shit. Moneybags beat B-Magic. He beat Passwords. He definitely had a good year in 2016. I just see that carrying over on the board. Like, Moneybags was supposed to been on URL a long time ago, man. He went through all these little, you know what I'm saying, all this, 
he battled John John like in grind time, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? And then look at the difference in their careers. Moneybag should always have been on URL in some capacity. I don't see him getting to this stage and dropping a ball. I think he's going to be too much for Prez Mafia. I got Moneybags winning this battle 2-1. Franchise versus Brooklyn Carter. I never watched a franchise battle, so I'm not going to even disrespect him and say he'll lose. So I really don't know. Brooklyn Carter, it's good to see you back. You know, hopefully you can show and improve on that stage. Chef Trez versus Mike P. Very excited about this battle. I like Mike P. I thought his daylight battle was dope. I thought his ab battle was all, I mean, his tink battle was also nice. He's had good performances, even if you feel like Mike P has lost. He still had good performances. Um, Chef Trez, you already know. What Chef Trez brings to the table, the bars, the rebuttals, the charisma, the performance, all that stuff. I think he's definitely talented, man. I think this could be a potential battle of the night, even though it's a late addition to the card. I still think this is one of the better battles on the card. And I definitely feel like both these two going to bring it. You know I'm going with the Chef, though. You know I'm going with the Chef. I got Chef Trez winning 2-1. One. And Av versus O-Red. Oh, Av did very well against Chess. I did feel like a little bit of that whole battle as a whole was a little bit amped up just because niggas was probably so excited that they was battling as a uh, as a last-minute replacement and a surprise battle. So I felt like niggas was definitely amped into the battle. But I got O-Red winning. I think niggas forgot how good O-Red is. And he hasn't battled since... November of fucking 2015, the entire 2016 O-Red sat out and did not battle. He battled Daylight and he ain't battled since. So I feel like, I know he's trolling, talking about there's no way he's going to be Av and shit. I definitely feel like he ain't been on his UW card. He ain't been on the URL cards. It's time. Like, if O-Red really want to get back in the battle rap and start being on some of these cards, he going to have to be Av, my nigga. He can't, he can't, can't just sit out all this time come back and lose the ass. So I got him winning the battle. I think he's still talented. He can punch. He got bars. He got aggression. I mean, O'Reilly was one of the nicest niggas, dog. Like, niggas forgot how he was just killing niggas at one point in time. I know Av is dope. Av is definitely the future. There's no disrespect to Av. He's one of my favorite dudes out in battle rap right now. But I'm going with O'Reilly 2-1 to win this battle. I think it'll be a good, could be potential battle tonight. And that's the Born Legacy card, man. Born Legacy 5 already looking crazy. I don't even want to talk about five. Fuck, fuck five. Cause let, let's just get four done. You know what I'm saying? Let's just get four done. But y'all niggas gonna definitely like Born Legacy Five. I've already been like three matchups confirmed. That'd be dope. Um, and you know what, what? Gnome Seven coming up. It do look like they may do a double impact two. They may do two summer madnesses this year. Like like they said, it looked like they are really trying to make that happen. So um, a lot of things around the corner for URL, man. So we should see how that shit unfold through the rest of the year. Born Legacy 4, let me know what you think. Holla at your boy.